Hi everyone, today I'm going to review some of the important information about the Trillium Drug Program. I will be following the Guide to Understanding the Trillium Drug Program, which you can access at the link in the bio. You can pause the video at any point if you need to look at a slide for longer. The Trillium Drug Program is for people who live in Ontario with an Ontario Health Number and spend 4% or more of their income on prescription medications. You must be between the ages of 25 and 64 or 24 and younger with a private insurance plan to qualify for Trillium. Outside of these ages, drugs are covered by other government plans automatically. The program year starts on August 1st and goes until July 31st of the next year. Households must pay a certain amount out of pocket towards their prescriptions before Trillium starts to pay for them. This is called the deductible and I'll speak about it more in this video. Trillium covers over 4,400 drugs and products listed on the Ontario Drug Benefit Formulary. Not every medication is covered, but many of the most common ones are. Limited use medications are only covered under specific medical circumstances, such as for a specific condition or only for a certain amount of time. As well, some nutritional products and diabetic testing agents can be covered, but require a prescription from your prescriber. If you have any questions about anything being covered, you can always ask your pharmacist. Unless you are living alone, Trillium is applicable to a household, as opposed to an individual person. These are the people that are included in a household for Trillium. A single person, a married couple, children living with you or living away from home who rely on you for financial support, parents and grandparents living with you who rely on you for financial support, a couple living together for at least one year or have a child together, and a legal guardian and person living with them who relies on them for financial support. Basically, if you're living with someone who relies on you for financial support, they are part of your household. If someone in your household supports themselves, they are not included in your Trillium application. This is if they pay their own rent and living expenses, do not rely on anyone for financial support, and do not support any others in the home. If somebody fits this description while you are on Trillium, it is your responsibility to update that information. To apply to Trillium, you must give consent for them to access your income information from the Canadian Revenue Agency. This allows Trillium to verify your household income and calculate the deductible that you'll have to pay. If any household member does not file income tax, they still need to sign this section of the application form, which I'll show you later in the video. If the Canadian Revenue Agency cannot confirm your income, you must provide one of these forms of income documentation. The Trillium Drug Program year is from August 1st to July 31st of the next year. The application must be received by the Trillium office by two months after the program year is over, so September 30th. On your application, you must choose an enrollment date for your Trillium coverage to start. It's usually easiest to choose the date that you apply to be the start date for Trillium, and you can save your prescription receipts starting on that date. There's a chart in the guide with some other examples of start dates to choose. The portion that you have to pay, the deductible, is adjusted based on how many days are left in the program year after your start date. Your pharmacy will usually charge Trillium directly, and you will not have to submit your prescription receipts manually. However, you will have to submit them manually if you have prescriptions that were filled between the start date and the time you received your confirmation letter from Trillium, and if you have private insurance or brand cards also paying for your prescriptions. You pay what is left over, and then submit the receipts manually to Trillium to be paid back. You have until three months after the end of the program year to do so which is October 31st. If anyone in your household has private insurance, either through work or school, you must include that in your application. You may receive a credit if you have private insurance, up to $100 for a single person and up to $200 for two or more people. This amount will be taken off of your deductible. If your insurance coverage changes at any time, you're responsible to inform Trillium of these changes. What is the deductible and how do they find out how much it will be? Your yearly deductible is calculated as approximately 4% of your household's yearly income. The year prior to the Trillium Drug Program year is used for this calculation. 
so your 2020 income will be used for the deductible for the 2021 to 2022 year. This annual deductible is then divided into four quarters, which are paid throughout the year. The first quarter begins with August, September, and October. Second quarter is November, December, and January. Third quarter is February, March, and April. And the fourth quarter is May, June, and July. It's important to note that anything paid by private insurance does not count toward your deductible. The deductible can only be paid by your household. This is an example of what your deductible would look like based on your income and amount of household members. This table all the way up to $100,000 is in the guide. For instance, if your household income is $20,000, your deductible will be between $300 and $500 depending on how many people are in your household. This is an example calculation for how you will pay your deductible. Let's say your yearly deductible is $1,000. That makes your quarterly deductible $250. It's important to note that the max amount of medication you can get at one time is 100 days. So on August 1st, which is the first day of the Trillium program year, you get a prescription for 3045. You have to pay this full amount, which is taken off your $250 quarterly deductible and leaves 21955. On September 2nd, you get another prescription for 2370, which you also have to pay. Taking that off your deductible, you get 19585. On September 15th, you get another prescription for $258.30. Because there's only $195.85 left in your deductible, that is all that you have to pay, and Trillium will cover the rest. Any other prescriptions that are filled in this quarter, such as the one on October 14th, will be covered by Trillium and you do not have to pay. Remember that the second quarter deductible starts in November, so you will have to pay the full amount for the prescription filled on November 1st, as it will be going toward your deductible again. These are some of the important forms for specific circumstances, such as removing a member from your household, having your deductible reassessed if your income changes by more than 10%, and any other household information changes. You can go to this website and search directly for these forms, and I've also included links to them in the bio. Trillium is automatically renewed each year. You may have to provide more information if anyone over the age of 18 did not file income tax, anyone turning 16 did not provide two signatures on the application, you have not paid toward your deductible for two years, and everyone is now over 65 years of age. If at any point your household loses Trillium benefits, you will need to submit a brand new application form to apply again. These are some of the most important things to remember to include on your application. Forgetting them may result in a delay of you getting your confirmation letter. This includes two signatures each, social insurance number, OHIP number, enrollment date, details about private insurance, and proof of income if you do not file taxes. This is the first page of the application form for Trillium. It includes personal information for household members, as well as places to put your OHIP number and social insurance number. The second page continues with that personal information and provides a section where you can add your enrollment start date. The third page gives some examples on which enrollment start dates to choose, and the section to include any private insurance information. The fourth page at the top allows you to check a box to inform Trillium if you are the legal representation for any members of your household and are signing on their behalf. The rest of the page requires all household members 16 years of age and older to sign the declaration criteria listed for Trillium. This is the first signature that you must provide. The final page is where everyone must sign to consent for Trillium to obtain income information from the Canadian Revenue Agency. This is the second signature you must provide. This form can be filled out online and printed out afterward, or printed out and first filled in by hand. This is the contact information where you can call or email with any questions you may have. You can submit your application through mail, email, or fax, but note that if you use email or fax, you must still mail in the original copy to Trillium. Thanks for watching and I hope this has made the Trillium application process easier.